Main focus is to come up with a bag. Ain't gonna be no slacking, ain't got time for none of that. Put it in their face. It, they already mad Disappear while I'm stacking And they be like Where you been? Make sure to lick a brown Drink it all up Hey guys Welcome back to my channel It is your girl Shantae Shantae And I am back With another video And of course As you know I got my good sis And it is A At home facial video And today We are going to be featuring Ole Hendrickson So if you want to hear And see My Routine For this facial Just keep on watching I actually got a couple things too from Sephora that I want to use, some new things that they came out with. These two facial rollers that come in this really cute velvet bag. These glass balls that I really, really, I've always, I've wanted these for a really long time and the fact that I got them, I just saw them and I was like, yep, I'll get those and I got the rollers. I definitely expected the rollers to be a lot bigger, but best tea for another day. Start with just steaming my face and opening up my pores. And I'm gonna probably do this for a good minute, then put my cleanser on, and then go back in for another minute. Then I'm gonna go in with the True Juice Daily Cleanser. So take some of this, it comes in orange. Oh, smells very much like oranges. This smells really good and it's really soft. And right here, I'm getting like, I have like some cystic acne it looks like. I wouldn't say it's like, it's not blackhead, it's just a red bump on my forehead. So I'm gonna pay a lot of attention to right here because I don't know what happened to my sis, but she be bugging. Okay. Now that my face is dried, I mean washed, I'm gonna go back in for another minute or two. I like to pat, not to rub. So we'll go back in with my steamer for another minute. Whenever I use this steamer, I find that like my pores, they really show up and show out. Now I'm going to go in with this lip scrub and I'm going to just scrape some off. And it smells like um, apple cider. This is a lip scrub, right? Mm -hmm. This is the Lucky Pucker Lip Scrub. Mmm, this is interesting. So the granules on the scrub are so fine, but they're good enough to scrub your lip. And I feel like it's the perfect size. But then there's also like this balm. So at the same time as you're exfoliating, you're moisturizing your lips. Mmm. My lips are soft. Go to OH Dark Spot Toner. And just go through. And ex. I mean, not exfoliate. Just wipe her clean. Here and around my nose are problematic. I want to get those areas really good. And then we can go in again with our glass balls just to soothe our face after all of that. things like this in a in the fridge so that way you have a nice cold texture oh this feels so good 
Sometimes I just get this tense tension right here and rubbing this out right now feels so good. This doesn't smell like banana at all, but I rarely ever find products that are banana that smell like banana. I can just go over. I wouldn't do this across my eyelid, but I'd like to do it across the eyebrow, this bone area, just to further massage. And it feels so good. Just a light pressure across your head. So I think that's all uh, for your face right here. I will say that obviously this is my favorite product, but this cleanser really new to me. It was really light and it was gentle. The only thing I think is that the, so PHA is supposed to be a lighter AHA. I'm not, AHA, maybe AHA. I'm not really sure which one is AHA and BHA, but glycolic acid. It's supposed to be a gentler glycolic acid. So this may work in my regimen, Right now I have ones that don't have any acid because I found that I was doing too much acid between my toners, my serums, my moisturizers, like everything had some kind of acid. Whereas this one today didn't, it just had ash ashwagandha. So I think this was really nice also. Another thing that I really liked and I was really impressed with was this lip scrub. The small granules that help scrub the lip, but then the balm that helps moisturize in the process, I think that was really genius. Usually I find like my scrubs are always moving around and they're all outside of my lips. This was perfect. And finally, I don't really think I would buy this again. The I think that I prefer eye creams that have caffeine in them, just because I know that helps with like the depuffing and things. So I think that this isn't something that I need to have to honestly repurchase outside of the other products. But I think that this is a really cute at home on the go video. And don't forget, you know, the drill, give yourself a good hug at the end of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a really interesting brand. I have seen them for a really long time. Between them and Drunk Elephant, it's like everyone's always hot to trot for this brand. So I really, really do love a good toner. I think that it helps me with hyperpigmentation. As you can see, like things come up. These are already red spots coming up all over my face and here. And I get acne here and there. And it's not uncontrollable, but it's just who wants it. So those these products I think will be really great for this. I know for sure this definitely it does help with dark spots and this cleanser I'm really interested to see what it can actually do. It removes makeup and cleanses with orange fruit water So that is really interesting and the packaging is super cute I know they came out with a moisturizer I believe but I didn't get my hands on that just yet I haven't actually got a chance to go to Sephora outside of going getting these products here So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that you take time to get yourself an at-home facial, and to get yourself an at-home facial steamer. This is my Vanity Planet Aria facial steamer that I've been loving, trying to keep kicking out videos at least once a week, once a month for facials, at-home facials. So we're just gonna keep building up our at-home tools. We just got two new things today, and I'm really excited about those. These glass balls, which I just got this today, and the Sephora is already wiping off, so not a good look. But I mean, I really don't need it to say Sephora. As long as the glasses don't break, I should be in business. That's all I have for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up. Share it with five of your friends and have them share it with five of their friends. And let me know in the comments below what products and brands you would want to see me do next. So I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.